Greetings out there in the internet. This is Omadon the Dragon speaking, and I'm giving another cooking recipe out. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Today we're going to make chicken burgers from scratch. Yes. First thing you're going to need diced tomatoes. All the, all the vegetables in this are fresh, by the way. Diced tomatoes, diced uh, green onions, you know, the stripped ones, like the long ones like that, diced up. And uh, diced green peppers, or red peppers, or yellow peppers, your choice of peppers. Alright, you're also going to need uh, Purdue uh, ground chicken meat. You're going to need one egg. Uh, some clover honey, very, very little lightly uh, to season it. Uh, some basil, some Italian seasoning, a little bit of pepper, and uh, some Parmesan cheese. Kraft Parmesan cheese is actually some of the better tasting of the Parmesan cheese. Alright, what you're going to do is, when you get these, open up the... Uh, package of uh, Purdue uh, ground chicken meat. Put it into the into a bowl, mixing bowl. And what you're going to need then is to add the egg. Crack the egg. Just let everything go in there. Yolk and all. No, not the shell. Throw the shell away. Um, then you're going to need to get your vegetables. You're only going to need about uh, I would say about half a cup for each. You know, put them in there. Then you're going to, uh, excuse me. Uh, then you're going to need to sprinkle a little bit of the honey. Not much. You're just going to just go like that. J just simple, like that. You one one swipe of this. That's all the honey you're going to need. Nothing more than that. Throw in some pepper, some basil, and some Italian seasoning for for added uh, spice and whatnot. Then you're going to put in your Parmesan cheese. Now you're going to, you're going to have your openings. You have the three pronged opening, and then you have the big wide opening. You want to use the big wide opening so you can get the most of the uh, a good chunk of cheese out. It's going to, you're going to need a lot of cheese so it really fills in the burger reason we're using Parmesan cheese and we're mixing it into the meat, Parmesan cheese is a quarter, is, is one of the healthier cheeses. Any of the dry cheeses like Parmesan, Rigatoni, those, they're some of your best cheeses. They're dry cheeses, so they have quite a lot less fat than cheddar and a lot of those because those are, are loaded with oils. In the che in the cheese making process, they they're just really thick with the oils, where the drier cheeses are not. That's why they're all crumbly. But you're mixing this in. Once 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 you've you've added all these ingredients, you're going to start mixing it by hand. Now I warn you, the your fingers are going to go numb doing this. But it's important. Your best cooking tools are your fingers. Remember that. You're going to use your fingers to mix everything in. You want to make sure you get a nice consistency of everything in and out of the meat. You want everything to go nicely inside that meat. Once that's done, once everything's gotten a nice mixed, uh, mixed in process, go ahead and wash your hands. Clean off the what's on your hands. Because then you're going to uh, set, uh, set your pan. You're gonna set it on low for a little, uh, for for the pro uh, for beginning process. You're gonna take some extra virgin olive oil, uh, lightly uh, put a, a nice quantity on the pan. Use extra virgin olive oil. It's healthier than using vegetable oil, and it's a lot more tasty. And uh, once you, once you put it in there, just let it sit a little bit. Start making the, start pulling out chunks of the meat. Make the little patties. 
Yeah, you can make the patties as big, uh, as thick, or as thin as you want. Try, I try to make them thin because when you make them thick, they take longer to cook. And when you got people hungry, you don't want to take that long to cook. You just make more burgers, but you gain out more burgers faster. Uh, what what you do then is uh, you're going to set the burgers into the pan. Once they're set in, wash your hands off because you're going to have all the stuff on your hands. All right, once that's washed off your hands, you're going to turn the heat up on the pan. You're going to turn it up to about medium to medium high. Or if you if you really are in a rush, turn it up to high. And you're going to, you're waiting for the si uh, sizzling to start taking effect. You're, you're going to be watching the bottom edge of them to turn a whitish color. When they're starting to turn a whitish color and you're starting to have more of the oil bubble, that's when you take your uh, spatula and flip them over. And you want to make sure that both sides get a nice uh, dark and brown uh, mixed in with the white during the cooking. That means that they thoroughly are cooked on both ends and cooked to the center. And that's the important thing. You want them cooked to the center. And also a good way to check is just lightly poke into the meat with your uh, spatula and just separate a little just to see if if they're turning, uh, if it's still pinkish inside, or if it's if it's fully whitened and cooked. Once they're done, take them out, put them on on toasted bread is 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 the best toasted wheat bread for for what you're going to put them on. Put a little bit of that spiced uh, horseradish mustard. It goes good, believe me. Horseradish mustard is some of the best when it comes to burgers like this. Homemade burgers taste best with this. Close the close the burger with another uh, toasted uh, whole wheat bread. Eat it. You'll love it. Thank you. And if you want to leave any comments, please do. I make these videos for your benefit, so please give me comments. Give me feedback, and I'll know... What type of things you want to hear? Do you want to hear me talk about movies? Because I know movies. Uh, I can do more songs if you want. I can do more of these cooking videos. These are all good little videos I make. The cooking videos are good, like on the on the run type of fast, homemade, healthy cooking. Trust me, you'll lose the weight I have doing this cooking. And believe me, it works. Thank you. And good day.